Ah, <sighs> home sweet home. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm? What is it? This is where you live? It's where we live. Yeah, <sighs> but. Yes. This is where I. stay. It's. actually. quite. What? Normal. I mean, yeah, it's a big house and everything, but I expect this to be more. What? What? What were you expecting? Ah! Uh, you were expecting something a lot more perverse in my home, weren't you? What? No! No! I. I, no, of course, I, yes. <sighs> I can't at least respect your honesty to an extent, but, yeah, I am not a perv. Despite how I may dress, despite how I may act. Mm. I can be a different person when I'm at home. Yeah, I I realized that. Good. <sighs> well, everything's been moved in, so what do we do now? Well, since I ain't gonna be living here with you, why not we, you know? Izuka, you per- Wait, what? I'm just kidding. You want to tour the place, right? Yeah. As they go from room to room, it's one door in particular that Izuku has his eyes leaning towards, in which he notices the state sign saying, Midnight's Private Area. What's that? Can't you read? Oh, yes, I can, but I'm kind of curious. Him trying to open the door, midnight pushes him away. Him? Confused. Like, why would you. <sighs> Let's just say some. Women have their secrets, and at least very much, if you would not pry into it. But we're not going to get married soon. We shouldn't have secrets between us. Who told you that? Uh, mm, exactly. I'm allowed to have my secrets. You're allowed to have your secrets. Deal? Sure. That's not concerning in the least. Oh, sure, don't worry about it. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, what's the real plan here? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Nothing really. If anything, you did good in the whole sports festival. Good job. Thanks. I mean, oh wait, yeah. What? The internships. We forgot about those. What? Yeah. We can worry about it tomorrow. I'm tired of getting you just tour my humble abode. So, let's just hit the sack. What? <sighs> Go to sleep. That's right, I need to be careful what I say around you. You were just uh, a lot more dirty minded than you led people to believe, aren't you? 
Um, I knew it. You're a closet perv. <gasps> no, wait, no, 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 that is not how I am at all. It's just, uh, I know. What? Yeah. Ever since, uh, you know. Uh, no, what? Just say me, your mom had been talking, in which she has uh, let me know of your past, especially with your classmate. Huh? Yeah. Bakugo Katsuki? Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. If anything, I am actually impressed. Well, wait, what? Oh, yes. You see, if anything, well, someone's been going to intense bullying just because it didn't have a power, let alone someone these had a friendship with is it's very surprising that as soon as you dig at your court you decide to not retaliate. Uh, retaliate? What do you mean? I mean if chances are if anyone else had gotten uh, power so to yours after being uh, bullied, <laughs> yeah, 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 they would have made sure uh, young Bakugo could never become a hero. Oh, yeah, chances are he wasn't even talking, it was someone else. If I read in your notebooks, What? What was that supposed to mean? Yeah, let's just say I find them very interesting. For anything, you should actually let other people see it. Really? Yeah. If anything, it could really be a huge help for when it comes to heroes. I mean, if they know what their weaknesses are, who will be the best team ups and you know. Oh. Huh. I actually never love that. Hmm. That's actually interesting. Because if anything, I just thought me being a hero nerd was weird. Uh, no, it's not weird. You muttering and being crazy obsessed with quirks, that can be seen as weird. But, mm, just knowing you didn't have one until recently, it makes sense. I mean, Heck. Huh. Thanks. No problem. Now, about these notes you've written about me. Huh? You see, you've made some miscalculations. Oh, wait, really? D uh, please do tell. One, my weight. Uh, um, huh? Yeah, for some reason, you made me a little bit too heavy compared to who I am now. Oh. Okay. Anything else? 
I can tell that we you we you possibly made this when you were you know younger, less tactful, as well as you know. Uh, uh, what are you saying? I age. You get that wrong too. Oh. Wait, but no, I up, I updated it. And it's like, no, that's not what I meant. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm confused. <laughs> you see. <clears throat> I am still young, okay? I look good for my age. If I was around that age, why don't you just alter your notes a little bit? Oh, um, I'm sorry, but no, just don't, don't be sorry, just you did, it. but I can sworn I should, my measurements were. Would you like to try again? Huh? Come with me. As they end up in Midnight's bedroom, he's a good confused until he sees Midnight and starting to disrobing him, embarrassed. And a bit of a bloody nose. Her looking back, seeing this seems like, calm down. It's not what you think. As she takes out measuring tape and a scale. Oh. You really thought? No, 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 no. Of course, of course not. I just um, I was confused. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my excuse. I mean, reason. Uh huh. The boy knows says otherwise. You were hoping for something eye catching, weren't you? Yes. Again, I love that honesty. But be careful, or else you're gonna end up six feet underground. And I will go to prison. Right. So, <clears throat> let's get miss the measuring. As you can expect, it's actually difficult for Izuku. On one hand, yes, he's going to be accurate as hell measurements. On the other hand, Midnight, being how she is to an extent, she still loves teasing poor, poor Izuku. How so? Wherever there's a sensitive area which Izuku needs to measure, uh, be her waist, thighs, or those fun bags, she can't help herself but to make slight moans or hmm, audio cues just to get a reaction out of him. Not only as a way to entertain yourself, but also a way to torture him. He's a goo. He hates the fact that, this is, that he's so flustered over this. I mean, hell, they're going to get married once he gets of age and everything. But on the other hand, he's I don't know why, but I hate this, but I also don't. <sighs> okay, that's enough. I have your measurements. In which, she snatches the notepad from him and... Wait, what? These can't be right. It says my waist... Yeah. And my... Yeah. The only one that should be... That you got right was my bus size. What the hell? But I, did, but I didn't mismeasure. That, that, that's. Oh my god, I gain weight. No! 
no, no, of course not. In fact, I'm taking out his nose again. This is... As then she takes his notes on her and rips them up. Izuku, he freaks out. And Midnight sees a spark of lightning as Izuku tackles her and plants her on the wall. He's looking up at her and other. It's a mix of anger and also shock. Well, when it comes to Midnight, she's blushing over this. As soon as Zeke does snap back into his senses, he realizes, wait, he starts to see that his eyes are going a little south of the equator. And yeah, let's just say his soldier is ready for action. Him having to leave and midnight falls to her knees, heart pounding like it's going to be right out of her chest. All pure, what the hell was that? Heck, she knew he was the strong one, but. Damn, that took her off guard. Hey, I have never felt this kind of rush before. I kind of like it. Ugh. Seriously, if only you more like that, but when it comes to. Uh... Hmm. Man, there's another way I can help him. Yeah, I already fixed that muttering thing, so let's see how far I can take this. Is he cool? He's <clears throat> trying to get his mind off of what he saw, what he did. He feels bad for it, but also, for some reason, as I don't feel as bad as I should for some reason. Hey, I was angry, I was in shock, and I just reacted. Yeah, it's just like from the sludge villain attack, I my body just reacted. And it kinda of felt good. And then it gets back to Midnight's expressions. Was she blushing? D did she get flustered or embarrassed over what I did? Him remember all the times where he was the one with his tail between his legs, so to speak, embarrassed over Midnight's antics. So realizing, wow, I got her to blush and be embarrassed. That's that's a rare occurrence, and it felt kind of good to release some frustration. Hmm. Maybe I should be more like that. But I don't know if I can really do that. I mean, I can. I'm usually a nice, chill guy, but who would have thought? As the days pass by, he's a good. Is apologetic to midnight, but also okay. At the very least, I know she likes uh, me to be a bit more masculine. Heck, I was able to get a genuine reaction out of her. Didn't think that was possible. Usually, she's the one making my heart skip a beat, which is not fair. Hmm. But if I can actually do that to her, I guess I could technically call it even or something?
Hmm. As in, this is where he notices. Huh. That door's cracked. <gasps> the f forbidden door. Him itching ever so closer to it. Okay. I know she told me not to, but for some reason my body is gravitating towards it. Him almost just barely at the door as then it slams shut. Oh man, she's in there. No, what am I doing? I need to focus on who I want to go on this uh, internship with. I shouldn't be. Oh man, I really didn't. I almost did. Almost invade her privacy. Whatever she's doing in there is her business. And I. You know, spread your boundaries. It's 10 minutes go by and midnight <laughs> exits the room. Izuku, curious, to, uh, she noticed that he was uh, about to peep in. Her just remaining silent, walking off. Oh man, she definitely knew I was about to open that door. But why? Why do I feel like I, I need to know what's behind that door? What is she doing? That may be a jerk. She, I mean, uh, I really, really, <sighs> really want to know. Come on, why can't I just... Uh, you know what? Screw it. Him walking up to midnight. I'm going to go see what's in that forbidden room, okay? What? You heard me. Excuse me? As, yeah, midnight. Are you really challenging me? Huh? I said that room's off limits. And here you go, mouthing off like you're gonna do something that's gonna make me very upset. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna explain this nice and easy. You are to never ever go into that room okay if you do I will know I will capture you uh, you will be punished to the fullest extent I can possibly muster I, I, you I good talk He's a goo. He is terrified at the... Huh. What is she going to do to me? I say about the fact that he tried to be more assertive. It he kind of backfired on him. When it's time for class, hero names and everything. Izuku has had more of a chance to think about the whole Deku thing. Which that does still end up becoming his hero name. Man, I gushing over it, hugging him. Uh, as well as just showing such wonderful affection in front of the students. Izuku is sure as hell ain't fighting it. Man, Sero, as well as Kamenari, are just as all hell. The girls, like how shameless can you be? <laughs> 
And Raka is pissed to the highest levels of pissivity. However, wait, hands down, Izuku is not really complaining about the attention that Midnight is so gracious and willing to provide for him. Though, yes, he does notice the stairs. If anything, he just sees it as my your damn business. So, yes. Izuku actually starting to grow up here. And then that bass in his voice. Bargo was sure enough just surprises all hell. Like, are you kidding me? Just because now he has a wound. Now all he wants to stand up for himself. Now he decides he wants to grow some cojones. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. <laughs> I might need... To remind him who's as then Bogo knows this this faint presence of evil as he turns his head it he sees that Izuku is glaring daggers at him yeah I hear what you're saying Bogo is shook first he had that display at the sports festival, coupled with the fact that Izuku was being more assertive, yeah, this is not something Bunko is used to at all. Which is the point where he's kind of like, okay, I feel like I, I'm in danger, but it's just Deku. Why? Do, why does he feel like he's the most dangerous person here? No, 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 that can't be right. That's it's supposed to be me, right? I'm the... Okay. Now, as it comes to your internships, as I was just momentarily stopping Bob go from busting a blood vessel over the confusion, Ugh. All right, like, all you did end up receiving some recommendations or whatnot, but still, you don't have to do it. What? Yeah, if anything. Though, yeah, it used to be mandatory. Technically, you don't have to. Do the internship. I think it's just a way for newer students to get some experience out in the field. Hmm. Okay. Midnight? <sighs> what? Again, you call me by my hero name. Well, yeah, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Just call me by my real name. Uh, oh. Is it really that big a deal for, for you? Well, I think it would be nice to hear you call me by my actual name and not my hero name. It, 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 this is never mind. It's, it's stupid. I just want no more. What? I said no more. That is how you say your name, isn't it? Seeing that she is blushing over this, Izuku, like, uh, what's wrong with your face? Realizing you're like, oh wait, I know that look. If it is, this is, I'm happy to be in this class, but I hate that this is happening right in front of me. As Manel shuts that shit down for them, actually openly showing some affection and 
in front of the whole class, not caring of the innocent eyes of the bystanders. But, all in all, it was quite the entertaining show. I thought I was pretty much going about sleep and everyone else going about their day. One thing is, Oraga, oh bless her heart, she is hella pissed. So when she does go to Gunhead, she is more than happy to learn how to whoop someone's ass. And as for whose ass she plans on kicking, <laughs> it's a it's up for debate. But Kusuma Izuku's actual eh, internship, he doesn't really want to do anything. Hell, since he's so much better at using him more for all, if anything, train his body, be able to use more one for all percentages. It's when he's home alone with midnight that things start just like, I need to focus on my training. Why? Because midnight doesn't have any hero work right at this moment. So right now she's home being comfortable. And I speak from experience where you're at home, you're home, hell, chances are you don't care who's there as long as you have something on. You're comfortable. That's all that matters. That reigns true for the lovely midnight. Though, yes, she does know that Izuku is there. And that he's definitely taking an interest in what he sees. Again, she loves teasing him. She loves stirring up those uh, urges. At least get him more attuned, more accustomed to what he's getting once he comes of age. He's a good, of course. He's more than happy to turn the other way, get a sneak peek. Because he knows at the end of the day, that ass is his. He ain't going to say it out loud. But he knows it. Midnight knows it. Inko knows it. Midnight's parents know it. Hell, now, 1A. And his teaching staff know it too. Oh, it's gonna be one to hell behind the moon. I think we're gonna have to go plus ultra on that. On that. Either way, when Izuku does remember, you know, Ida's reaction to like wait. Your brother's in the hospital. Who did it? Oh, okay. He runs to midnight and says, Yeah, he is about to do something very stupid. As this is about the time when he uh, does find Stain. And Stain is not amused at this. By the time midnight, and he's a good find Ida. He's unconscious, and his legs ain't looking the way they should. They had to rush into the hospital, and sadly, yeah, them legs ain't gonna be working anytime soon. Stan gets away, Ida gets hospitalized, and possibly can't be a hero. Ever. Heck, he could try his best at night if he was going after staying. But that's not going to work. Seriously. There's no way someone's going to say, okay, so you just so happened to find the guy who put your brother 
on the sidelines as a hero forever. Like this story. The thing is, he does get reprimanded heavily. But he's more disappointed in himself. And he's eager to see how Ida, the pencil pushing point Dexter, who was all about following the rules and whatever, did this. On one hand, yes, yeah, his brother and everything, yeah. <laughs> you know, who knows? I mean, if us have possibly done some questionable actions for the sake of helping family members. <clears throat> Eli. Izuku? Though he is shocked at this, he completely understands. He tells you that, hell, he would have done the same thing. You're looking back at Izuku. Except with your quirk, you probably wouldn't have failed. I really wish you could have been there with me. I wish you told me. You would have taught me out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. But it looks like we are going to get the chance to find out, are we? As far as native, he's dead. <laughs> Maybe it's past tense. Oh, lordy, lordy. Insane is still on the loose. He's killing more and more heroes. At least those he deems as false heroes. Not worthy of the title of prestige that heroes should, you know, But, Izuku seeing his friend in such a state, seeing him as a shell of his former self, this stirs something else within Izuku to the point where he's pissed. More than what you really expect, to the point where Mirai notices something's off about him. Tries to t ask him, like, is there something wrong? Like, everything's fine. Her intuition is saying, you are a bold faced liar. Is it? Is it good? He goes to sleep earlier than usual, which does surprise Midnight. Huh. Usually. He does his training by this time. He might be preparing for the test, I guess. Not knowing that Izuku has been increasingly wanting to sleep in one of the other rooms lately. Doesn't want to stay in the same bed as her for some odd reason. Again, she's like, okay, maybe this thing with Ida has really gotten to him. Which, yeah, it has. But to the point where Izuku sneaks out at night in search of Stain. Not to avenge Tensei, not to avenge Ida, but to bring him to justice. Though, yes, he has heard about Stain's ideology. Yes, he does know that some heroes aren't always righteous. But the way he's going about it is all wrong. So, Izuku is on a Stain hunt. Trying to find this guy, bring him to justice, and hopefully use that Tao no Jutsu. So he finally learned that, wait, I can do, probably try that and convince him. As he has no such luck. 
to a point where as soon as the test day does approach, he's not really exhausted, but it's shown that he's been through something. Now he notices, like, wait, is that a scar? Where'd you get that scar from? Training. Hmm. Well, okay. I guess I'll... that qualifies as a good enough answer. But I mean, like he's pushing to a point where Izuku does get annoyed. Though, yes, he does see why she's acted like this. Uh, oh, he really doesn't want to get anyone else involved. He's doing what he is doing, keeping his mouth shut, just to do things his own way. When he's looking for Stain, he finds other villains. The only thing is, these villains aren't trying to test him. They're not part of the whole training. These are true blue villains who want to make poor, poor Izuku into nothing more than a memory. So, not only has he had to deal with the U.S. Jig attack, but he also has to deal with these villains coming at him with everything. As soon as he mentions Stain, they guard up and go on the offensive. So he has to think quicker, he has to act faster, and he only has two viable options. Well, first, knocks them unconscious. But the second one actually has a condition. If they see him, not if they see him attacking them, if they see his face. Because as soon as they get arrested, they're going to wonder like, who was this hero or vigilante? He looks like this. Sketch artist, sketch artist, sketch artist. Wait, that's Izuku Midoriya. So he has to make a choice. Either he risks it if they see his face, or he makes sure that they're never going to talk again. So Izuku has, under protest, had to end the lives of a villain or two. Which grant gains the attention of other heroes. These villains are starting to get either beat to high hell or killed. They don't know who's doing it. All they know is yeah, this vigilante needs to be stopped. But then Izuku started getting closer and closer to Stain's trail. Sadly, it didn't go as planned. Stain got away, and Izuku accidentally unlocked Black Whip, trying to capture Stain. The only reason why he's not going on a rampage now is luckily Stain did get at least one drop of his blood to get away. Because unlike Ida, Izuku, his fighting style doesn't just rely on his legs. He has arms as well as the potential of using air pressure. So Stain knows, like, yeah, I should not... I should not take this fight lightly. I should either leave or kill him. And chances are, if I had a chance, I need to leave. Because when it comes to killing Izuku, 
he's not going to get that much of a chance. Because Zuku is on instinct right here. What I mean by that? Though, yes, he does have some form when it comes to how he's fighting Stain. It's harder for Stain to actually keep up with. Yeah, and JM have that speed. But Izuku has a strength map that can really uh, do some damage if he connects. Yeah, and JM can run fast. So can Izuku. Only thing is, JM wasn't bouncing off fucking walls! So yeah, Izuku gets damaged and so is Stain. One thing is, by the time Izuku does wake up, Stain's gone, and he's finally able to move. And he just has to make sure that no one catches him. So he sneaks back in right at the time when it's time for the damn test. In which, just like a cannon, it's Izuku and Bago versus All Might. The only thing is, with Izuku's mind being the way it is now, he's not really wanting to prolong this. Normally he would want to come up with a plan to take on All Might, which, yeah, granted, would be a very smart idea. The only thing is, he's not having it. It's only when he's almost beaten where Black Whip starts to appear again over his frustration. Bongo looking at this like, what the hell's going on with you? He's having to gain his composure all over again. And come up with a plan. In which, it's like, okay, maybe I could use this to my advantage. As far as I know, All Might doesn't know about this quirk. So, Izuku running straight towards the finish line as bait. Yeah, let's just say All oh Might takes the bait hook, line, and sinker. Just for Izuku to grab All Might. As well as restrain him. Putting him more of a yarn balls type situation. All Might can't move, he can't build up enough momentum to actually force him's way, so he has to concede defeat. But he does want to talk to Izuka about what the hell was that? It's just like, okay, I'll tell you later, but right now I got some work to do. What? Nothing. As whoever passes, passes, whoever fails, fails. Easy as pie. When Izuku is at the mall and does get separated from Oraka, Shigaraki does show up and threaten him. The only thing is, Izuku is pissed. Beyond pissed right now. He's not having it. So as soon as he's able, he summons Black Whip and cuts off Shigaraki's fingers. By accident, Shigaraki screaming out in pain, like, what the hell? Izuku was like, I have had a long day today. As Shigaraki knows his way, you have bags on your eyes. Do you, have you ever even slept? Look who's talking. As then Black Whip starts to fluctuate and strikes Shigaraki, pinning him. To the ground, Zuku's. You know, you cause us a lot of trouble. You almost killed us. You almost killed All Might. Why? Why you hate him so much? I don't just hate All Might. I hate his quirk. I hate all heroes like you. 
heroes who will turn their backs on people who need you the most. You have no idea what I've been through. You have no earthly comprehension of the hell that's so many of us go through, but we get overlooked. So what are you planning on doing now? I could stop all of this. What? <sighs> I could stop all the suffering that you cause and will cause right now if I wanted to. What are you saying? As then, Suku summons Black Whip in his other hand. This time, it's more reminiscent of a spike. Uh, what are you doing? I'm doing what needs to be done. Sometimes, you can't save someone. Sometimes, it's best just to pull the as Oraka shows up, Izuku sees the crowd start to form around them. As he's realizing, damn it! Did I just Shigaraki scared? But it's like I am not gonna waste this chance. As he gets pulled away, thanks to Kodagiri. Oraka does run up to Izuku, but she sees a spike. It's like, what? What was that for? Uh. <clears throat> I was. Uh. I was just. Her looking. And seeing. See Rocky's severed fingers? Izuku, what were you going to do to him? Ah. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Izuku leaving. Oraga is terrified at what Izuku might have done. <laughs> Hell, was going to do. Let's be honest. But it doesn't get much better as soon as Izuku does end up going home. In which, Midnight, is there something you want to tell me? What? <sighs> okay. Look, I know you're going after the hero killer. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, I understand. The thing is, you can't keep doing what you're doing. I. It's dangerous. And you know that. But I know there are no buts. Think of it like this. What if someone saw your face? As Izuku looks down to the floor, I mean, I. They have saw you, seen your face, haven't they? Wait, you, you're not just a vigilante being a village, you're the one who's killing them, just in case you see what I look like. See, so this is not how heroes, I, I know, but maybe that's what needs to change. What?
think about it. Just because someone gets locked up and serves their time doesn't mean they're going to change. Sometimes you need to strike the fear of death. Something that's unescapable into them. So what? You're saying we scare the villains with a threat of killing them. Have you noticed less villains on the streets? Oh yeah, because they're getting smarter. Because they're organizing. That's how <clears throat> that's how super villains start springing up because people like you are scaring them to evolve and adapt instead of them being sloppy they're being more careful on how they do things <sighs> I really don't want to have this conversation right now look I understand why you're doing it you just don't the way you're doing it is wrong I'm a hero, I can help. But I can only help if you let me. I. And you're gonna have to trust me too. Can you do that? Can I trust you to trust me? Okay. Fine. Good. Now, you owe me. What? You owe me a walk. It's been so long since we had a nice little walk together. Uh, <laughs> are you serious? But I know what's. <sighs> You're lucky I didn't turn you in when I had a chance. You would have? Oh, believe me, I would have. If I wanted to. But you don't want to. No, I suppose not. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, no worry. Azugu. Gives Midnight a kiss on the cheek. Her blushing and pushing him away. Him surprised like, wait, why'd you do that? It's like, they were, oh. That's why. Her was like, just come on, let's go for a walk. As they're enjoying their leisurely stroll. Though, yes, they do get some suspicious looks. He's like, oh, just ignores it. As does midnight. And until someone bumps into them. Wearing. Huh. That's a weird gown. Excuse me. Uh. Are you lost, uh. Kid? As this is. Of course. Airy. <laughs> <laughs> 